Commitment 2014 tonight, an intriguing race in a fast-growing area, Butler County's 52nd House District. Yes, and it is where a trailblazing candidate encountered a personal threat just a few days ago. WLWT News host John London spent time talking about that and other issues with both candidates today. Now, this district, the 52nd, has a couple of pioneering candidates. One, the first woman from Butler County to serve in the Ohio House. The other, the first Muslim candidate in the entire state. The groundbreaking Muslim candidate is Kathina Harani, a Democrat. It's her first political race. Margie Condit, a Republican, can relate. She was a newcomer three years ago when appointed to the 52nd seat. Here they are on the issues. I think the goal should be reduce taxes, to reduce taxes, um, to help let people keep more of their own money in their pocket, to make it business friendly so that we can attract new businesses. And they need good sustainable jobs. We need to raise the minimum wage. And we need somebody that's going to go to Columbus that's willing to work with both parties. Harani is the daughter of an Army vet and firefighter, a married mother of six. She puts her historic candidacy in this context. I, I don't see myself as this wonderful, brave person. I just see myself as, as an American citizen that is concerned in the direction that we're going. Condit and her husband have two grown children. Her framework stems from 22 years as a P&G manager. I do look at bills with the eyes of a business person. I want to make sure that, that our regulations aren't going to hurt business. The Liberty Township, Westchester, Fairfield Township area is booming. Both express commitment and caring about that growth and the district itself, which is why Harani was taken aback this week when she got three threatening phone calls. It's okay, people don't agree politically, but to have threats to my life is, is I, I, I'm not going to lie to you and say I'm not, not, not scared because it is a very concerning to me. Just totally unacceptable behavior in a civil society. There is no room for that in any campaign. Condit's campaign is right where she loves it, at the local level. Harani admits some of her doorstep conversations have been difficult but ended on common ground. Both the incumbent and the challenger consider themselves non-traditional candidates more public servant than politician. In the 52nd District, John London, WWT News 5. About the threats, police are now trying to find out who made the threatening calls. The local council on American Islamic relations also issued a statement saying all Americans should be concerned when threats based on a candidate's faith are made.